And we have more. And these are the messages to help us keep moving forward. I'm going to move to Rianne Eisler's talk, Evelyn. And could you come back on and introduce Rianne Eisler? Dearest uh, Linda, uh, you met Rianne Eisler before me. So you are the one to introduce her. <laughs> I only met her uh, and in in connection with her book and talking about the dominator, the dominator psychology versus the partnership psychology. And she gave us the, the inspiration to think in terms of partnerships, in terms of our work in the world that we work in. So this is Rianne Eisler's gift to the world, to our human dignity workshop. GDP is a mess. It includes activities that harm, even take life, selling cigarettes, unhealthy foods, plus the resulting medical and funeral costs, they're great for GDP. But GDP fails to include the huge economic value of caring for nature and for people, despite reports like an Australian one showing that if the unpaid caring work in households were included, it would be 50% of the reported GDP. This is why my organization, the Center for Partnership Studies, is developing new metrics, a social wealth index, which differs from both GDP and most GDP alternatives as it's geared to our knowledge service age, showing the enormous economic value of caring for people starting at birth and caring for nature. A team of economists is developing this index so that business and government policymakers finally have the missing information they need to make sound and equitable decisions. And I should add, so that women who still perform most of the care work for free or very low wages are no longer the poorest of the poor worldwide. And everyone has a better quality of life. So I invite you to join me in this movement from domination toward a caring economics of partnerism. And there's more information at centerforpartnership.org. Let's build a new partnerist economics that supports caring for ourselves, others, and our Mother Earth. Let's do it for our children and generations to come. I thank you.